back again. Back on it. Uh, I finished scribing this in. My uh, circular saw did rip a little bit out of the, when I first cut it down, but that's the scribe line done anyway. Obviously there'll be carpet over the uh, corner post there, but it's looking uh, pretty nice. I'll put a bit of filler on there and rub it back. It's gonna get painted in anyway. Uh, the pod's marked out, the window's marked out, and that's this side ready to go. So I'm gonna crack on now and uh, get some of the foam insulation over there and then start going backwards this way and I'll see how close this is to this once it's got some foam on and I can use that as a template then just cut around it and I'll be exact spacing for my boards all the way down. So Graham's just doing the other post with the insulation, the black sticky stuff which he says it's a nightmare to work with, don't you? It's not very nice. It doesn't cut very cleanly, does it? I've got just a single Stanley blade now, which is cutting it cleaner than to the line that I'm trying to work to, but it's still not very nice stuff to work with. Yeah. And this particular stuff, I thought, well, I ordered from the company and thought I was getting the uh, paperback stuff and it's come plastic backed, which... Oh, yeah. How far did I run that up just to click on them? And he's, he's done that post, <clears throat> insulated it all, wrapped it in foil. And that that here will be all carpeted. So all here will be carpet. So that's that done with that fiddly insulation for now. So that's that post done with silver foil tape. Say it'll all be wrapped in carpet. How many how many rolls of foil tape have we gone through? I don't know about twenty two. <laughs> it's never ending. Four pound a roll. Aye. Four pound fifty a roll now, isn't it? Build a van, they said. It'd so be fun, they said. There's, there's like a ton on foil tape, isn't there? Imagine just handing over a hundred pound on foil tape. Crazy. The sky has gone very grey, the wind has got up. I'm just uh, using this piece to, uh, to be a template. It's like a glue. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's tidy it up. It's looking very good now. He's tidied it up. Pretty nice. So we've got the next board in along this wall. Um, obviously this is where the sleep board's going to get cut out. Or this part of the board's going to get cut out because in, behind that is the sleep pod. Um, so we've got this one to do. And make that line up. Right, so this is the last piece of this side before the door, and obviously you've got the, the jut out of the door and then it comes back in as a post. So we're gonna carpet that post. Um, so we've just drawn this in a little bit and we're gonna see if this works. We know this is following the, right on the line at the edge, but then I've just drawn this section in to come back down. So we'll cut that out and see if that works first. The boy's not done too bad at all, look at that. It's not bad that, is it? First go, and he's done all the curves and shapes, first go. 
That's hard. Looks good. And drawn in. Yeah. yeah that's going to sit in quite nice. He's tidying up, obviously, but... I think this needs to just come in a bit there. But here is fine. I think we'll have to build this out with uh, the foam. Yeah. And then tape that in. Because obviously... It's, it's redundant anyway, that is. makes no, never mind to anything, does it? So, no. But I think I need to just come up there. But I might be able to get away with it, to be fair. I'll just cut this one in the same and run it along. And that will, the carpet will sit in there. So we've had some tea and graham has been busy doing this. Doesn't that look great? It's all shaped. There you go. Illuminating oh, the situation. They can see now. A panel that's all shaped. Looks like Mr. Bump's belly, that. Huh? It's a window in the van. It's getting quite late again now, and I've realised I've not, uh, I've not done much filming. I've got all this side out now, ready for shelter prep with the, uh, well, varnish the backs, and then it can all go back in. I need to make some uh, pieces. I need to clean this window and spray it up because that section there that you can see the outline is going to be the kitchen window, and then the rest is all going to be sealed away. Um, <laughs> Where are we? So yeah, I'm just taking them out. I'm cleaning up any bits and bobs that needed sorting out whilst uh, I had it. I've got a couple of bits where I've had to glue and so they need sanding. I don't know where that scratch has come from, but uh, that's just gonna get rounded over now and tidied up. Um, I'm just playing the top and bottom of that one because it was very tight and I want to give it a bit of room. They don't need to be dead tight. I've got uh, dressing to go on and I'm going to seal the bottom with PU. So I'm going to get the other top piece cut um, and then take all this side out and do the same with this side. Cut out the side pod um, and then that side's done. There's me nice shiny pods, even though they're not shiny. And you've seen them if you watched the last video. If you haven't seen the pod video, uh, there's a whole playlist on how I made these from a cardboard template, made a mold, cast them in uh, fiberglass, and then spent hours and hours filling and painting and all the rest of the stuff. We're on divide and conquer today. <laughs> <laughs> Shells varnishing the backs. It's like honey. Yeah, don't get your hair in it. It won't be honey then. No, thank you. We're just doing one coat. It's only a ceiling coat. We're not uh, obviously varnishing the panels at the front. They're going to be painted with Shell's selected colour scheme, whatever that may be. She's changed her mind about three times already. Well, it's just a variation on a theme, so I've not really changed my mind on the colours. <laughs> right, I'm off to the front to... Uh, Strip the rest of the boards out for it and then try carpeting. And the van is back to a big silver bubble. But with side pods. Right, jobs I need to do right now. What jobs I'm going to do now once the motorbikes have gone Saturday in Southport. Uh, sort that window out. I need to build up that corner there with some insulation to for the board to sit into. So I'll use some foam for that. And I need some foam up in the corner, <laughs> over there and there, for the headliner to run into. The top of the headliner will run into the back of something else and it needs to be fixed up, yeah, but I've got no fixings. Uh, and then it's carpet here, and there, and there, and there, and this post here and around the door. Um, and I think that's, oh, and the back of the pods. And then we can start putting everything back in. Here he goes, just putting the final spray on now. Looking good. Mm. 
that's been made up if that was our window, Spider Man on. <laughs> Don't let him see it, we'll never be able to take the bloody thing off. So when the board sits on there and the round is in, obviously that dips back in there. So I've built that out with some foam and I'm gonna carpet that in. Now I'm gonna put some foil tape over and then carpet it in. And it just saves uh, trying to cut a piece to make a little reveal there. There's no need, it'll carpet down that line quite happily. Pass that foam, that foam should absorb it all in. So I'll see now anyway. That's the whole interior of the van so far then, out here. The good thing is it's quite warm today, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, it's soaking off and drying up pretty quick. The window reveal is painted. I've got to run. I've got to run. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'll sort that out. I'll tidy it up. I've got a little bit there where the tape is just running on. But other than that, it's a nice clean line and no one's ever going to know that there's a run. Because I'll sort it out, apart from all of you that watch this video like, but you know. Um, by the time the frame's in and it's sealed out, it'll look really good. It looks really good now, to be fair. So that'll be the height of the kitchen and the small kitchen window. So obviously we'll have light from that side, light from the Max Air fan, light from the front and this side, and then light from the back windows. We got uh, anthracite gray, I think it was. Hopefully we've got enough. So this is the stuff. Uh, I think I got, yeah, two meters wide. Um, I think it's four mil thick or something like that. There you go. Um, Four-way stretch. I think I'm going to start in this back corner where our feet go, and that way I can get used to how it bonds and sticks and moves. Um, these back door seals don't have the flap in, so I'm going to pull the door seal off and then just carp it around and knock the door seal back on, I think. I think that's gonna be the easiest way for me to do it. Um, and then that should be fine there. That, that should bond in well. So that, I'm gonna do that first, this bit. So we got our carpet from these guys, robust car parts, and they send out the adhesive that you need to cover with the carpet. Danger, extremely flammable, pressurized container. Right, so I'm gonna start in that back corner there. We've just cut to length. We've decided that the hairy bit is the back. Now I don't know whether that's right or wrong, but that's what we're gonna go. So I'll spray up in a minute. Oh, cracky, you're right offline there. There we go, let's straighten you up. Oh, I flipped you around. So yeah, we've decided that the hairy bit, or the one with the more strands sticking out, is the back and then the bit without as many strands is the front but I don't know if that's right or wrong honestly I don't I can't tell the difference let's have a go with this uh, righty ho rosy right let's pull it off a bit more then So I've sprayed the back of the carpet and I've sprayed the van. I'm just giving it a few seconds for the solvent to go and for it to be tacky. And then we'll have a go. So that's the corner. Let's just I always get a bit nervy doing things for the first time. It's 
nice though. It feels solid. Well, you can see it. Let's turn it that. There we go. That's a better angle. So you can see I've run that in there. I don't know. I need to bond that back in. It was bonded. It feels tight enough. Yeah, it's tight enough that I think. Uh, I could do with some white. Or I could do with stopping some light. And then you can see better. There we go. That's much better. Look at that. Happy with that. My board can run straight into that now. Yeah, I've decided to go right the way down. You'll never see that join there because it'll be behind. And then you can see I have put an angle there and an angle here pretty much the same place on both sides so by the time that board's on and that board's on you'll barely see them either in fact you'll barely see the top but it just finishes it off nice doesn't it right i'm gonna have a go at one of the pods getting brave now so i'll just offer it up and make sure it's somewhere near Looks all right, that. And these bits will never be seen. To be fair, this bit will never be seen. Or this bit up here, or that bit at the top. But I have the option now, if I really wanted to, that I could bring that down. I've still got a bit of tack to that. There we go. That's in the foil, it's not even in the carpet. That's a lump in the foil. The bit inside because my board in well I could run it directly into there now and just have an edge and run it directly into there I mean that's it's really nice it's finished really nice obviously I've got that lump over here of the post but it's good Whew. wow there's number two See it a bit better that way. There we go. It's looking grand as out. There's the other one. The lower half of the back door and up and round the back door. I've still not done that lower bit yet, but I'll get on with that. And just the front to do now. But I'm losing light. It must be coming up for eight o'clock. So that might be it till tomorrow, in fact. Because I've got all the boards. in yet down board alley so there's all the interior panels uh, I've still got to cut out this this feels nice and dry now and a good 
There's a seal at the back, his arm. All the different panels marked up, ready to go back in. Grand is out. So I think at this point, I'm going to tidy up. 